Okay, let's have a look around this uh, 59 plate. I think this one's actually 2010 registered rather than 2009, but I'll uh, confirm in the description. Um, Land Rover Defender 90 TDCI hardtop, finished in uh, Galway green metallic with a white roof. Um, nice spec on this one, basically standard spec, but it has got um, boost alloys on it with a matching set of five Continental cross contact tyres on it. Um, it's got mud flaps all round, it's got the factory side steps, which are a little bit stiff as they do tend to get over the years. Um, checker plate on the modesty covers. And that's about it externally, I think, apart from it's got a tow pack on it. Yeah, tow pack fitted. Um, inside it's got um, a modern sort of radio CD with auxiliary plug, uh, centre rockers tray, and in the back it's got the, uh, the rubber matting system. So that's it spec-wise. Um, let's go around and have a look at it. It's actually really quite uh, smart in my opinion. No nasty dinks or dents on it anywhere. I'm sure I can find something, <coughs> but um, showing 49,000 miles and uh, in, in really quite smart shape. Doesn't look as if it's been worked hard. Around the front end, relatively stone chip free for its mileage. It's a couple of minor chips on the bonnet, but uh, and a small couple of tiny scratches just there on the near side wing top. Another couple of marks just there, uh, but really. Aside from that, the front end is, say, pretty stone chip free. Looking down the near side, looks pretty straight. All defenders get slight ripples in the doors, and this one's no exception, but um, it tended to have been built like that. Um, near side front wing, we've got a slight scratch about a centimetre across just there on the top of the near side front wing. Otherwise, all good. Um, screen, there's a couple of old, uh, very tiny chips just there in the middle of the screen. Uh, but aside from that, it's all good. Usual, I wouldn't say it's paint loss in the in the gutter. It's just not been painted properly when it was new in the gutter. <laughs> Land Rover build quality for you. Um, and the near side screen block is just starting to bubble up, although it hasn't come through the paint. And a little tiny bit up there as well. Uh, otherwise, scuttle corners are all good. The near side modesty cover is all good. Um, near side mirror arm has lost some of its coating. I think the offside one has as well. Uh, near side door, all very nice. Interior wise, uh, seats are in very, very good shape. The only thing I can criticise is both seat boxes. The driver seat box trims, the driver's one is, is worse, is worn on the corner. You can get a new sort of metal section now that covers that up because they're known to be known to wear on the hard Jura matting, but um, yeah, seat box corner is slightly worn, um, but all the it's got proper defender mats in it, and all the uh, Arduino matting on the footwells and everything. So the full easy clean interior, seats are in good shape. Driver and passenger headlining for a hard top, it's correct. It's only got the headlining in the front, but that's in good order from what I can see there. Uh, and in the back, it's all quite neat and tidy. As I say with the um, the rubber matting. Uh, it's got the latest style doors in it, so we don't need to check for rusting doors and things. Door cards are all good. Near side rear wing is all rather nice. Let's have a look under here. So the chassis hasn't been coated in anything nasty. Just um, a little bit of surface rust here and there, but that's uh, perfectly acceptable on one. It all looks uh, as it should do under there, I think. Around the tail end. No real electrolytic reaction. There's a slight dink in it just on the tailgate, just there. And inside, as I say, it's all uh, properly matted out uh, with um, locating rings in it and stuff, but uh, all pretty good, I think. Door card's good. And it's got the usual mark just there where when you open the tailgate, the spare wheel touches the uh, the body. Um, horn it on me. Um, looking down the offside, so apart from the usual slightly slight ripple in the driver's door, um, offside rear wing all looks good. Up here, there's a few scratches just on the um, on the van side, just behind the that's the door there, just behind the, the door. 
There's a sort of selection of small scratches just around here. Um, underneath again, as I say, a little bit of light surface rusting, but no more than that, I don't think. And so it's nice to see it's not been coated in that nasty black stuff. Um, driver's door again, a few tiny scratches just around here. Uh, and a, a, as always around the handle a bit and down there. But, um, and we talked about the mirror arm. A post is all good. Scuttle corner and scuttle good. Uh, screen fine. Offside front wing. Good. Put a peep in there. Again, all the, as it is, as it should be. Fair. And then let's have a little look inside. Yeah, seat box trim is, as I say, slightly worn, especially on the corner. But it's just when, when people get in and out of it. Um, seats in good order. And as we say, headlining. Fine. So there we have it, really. 2010 Defender 90 TDCI Puma 6 speed. My name is Simon, you can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further information.